guest doctor here. So, I know I talked a while back about uh, when I had my brake failure on my uh, race bike. And, uh, you know, since I technically almost died, or I could have died, I guess. You know, Honda took it pretty serious, and the, uh, the rep from uh, American Honda, because that's uh, basically who I dealt with back then, uh, said, oh, this is ridiculous. And he said, okay, he wanted to double check, he had all my information, he says, okay, I can, uh, I can send you this, but you got to pay for the shipping. So he said, well, actually what he said was, I can send you this for free, but you got to pay for shipping. I went, what are you going to send me? He says, uh, I said, what are you going to send me? He says, I'm going to send you a factory engine. And I went, what? He says, yeah, this is, he basically had, he was basically getting frustrated with, uh, you know, the, the 87 Hondas for, were not being cooperative. And Honda apparently had supplied a, a limited number of engines to, uh, you know, people who were, you know, uh, loyal customers or deserving, I guess you'd say, of getting a, a free engine. And apparently they, I found out later, they actually only had provided, provided uh, five of them. I don't know if that was in North America or if that was worldwide, but there was only five provided, and I got one of them. So I was like, that's cool. So he uh, got the information and whatnot, and it took uh, about uh, two weeks for it to be to show up. And <laughs> the one thing he forgot to mention was that uh, some assembly required, and it it literally was a complete engine. Like, absolutely, it had every every single part, wiring harness, everything you could possibly need, CDI, uh, like. Everything you needed to basically put a brand new engine into a chassis it was there. And they just required some uh, assembly. Now the time I was racing it, it was uh, 88, so the, actually the 88 bikes were out. And at first I thought it was an 88 engine, and, he's, and I got talking to him and he said, he said, well, it's sort of an 88. He says it's, a, it's an 88 with a bunch of improvements that have been specked out and uh, my mechanic looked at it and he said well there's only two races left in the season and one of them I couldn't go to because I had to work and he said why don't we just put this to the side and then we'll take all the time and effort we need to get things completely machined and assembled properly so we'll have a we'll make certain everything's perfect instead of just slapping it all together hoping things are working and uh, because he's actually, he had actually dealt with factory engines and parts occasionally, and sometimes the machine tolerances were not necessarily as good as the production units, simply because, you know, a lot of times this stuff was under, you know, a, a high pressure, it had, to, had to be done as soon as possible. So every once in a while you get things that were, you know, a millimeter out here or there. So that's what we did, we decided to, to park it and, and uh, build it over the winter. And what happened was we, uh, you know, we had a, a guy who was a racer who also owned a machine shop, and he uh, he basically milled all the, the heads and the cases and everything. So the end result was I had probably, well, actually no, I, I definitely actually had the fastest 250 GP bike in the country for around three years, and I mean like literally the fastest. Like uh, I had people tell me like when we got on the back straightaways and I opened up the throttle. I, I was pulling like anywhere from five to 10 bike lengths on, on, uh, on bikes down the straightaway. And in a 250 class, you don't get that. You might get someone pulling up one or two bike lengths, but mine was like just, it was like stupid fast. And actually it wasn't until uh, uh, 1991, I think it was, where all of a sudden I started to come across bikes that could actually pull me in a straight line. So it was, uh, you know, it was, it was pretty neat. It was, uh, it's 
kind of neat being uh, given that opportunity to perform a little better and, and have a, a bike that was like stinking fast. But we did have some problems with it and uh, I got a couple stories to talk about that as well so I'd, uh, we'll save those down the road. Well anyways that's a little short story about 